Hi everyone, my name is Hannah and tomorrow I'm going in for double jaw surgery. The procedure should last about five hours. I'm going in at 6 a.m. I will show you it through this vlog. Um, but basically the main reason I'm doing it is to correct or to help um, with back teeth touching um, the back of my mouth. The only teeth that touch and have ever touched are the front of my teeth. You can't really see from the front, but this is what it looks like at the back. Sorry if it's too much, but this is what it looks like at the back. So they don't touch. I know you don't touch. There's a few more now at the front that are touching than what you used to touch. Um, but if I don't do the surgery, these teeth will eventually chip and wear down and then I'll have lots of problems. And it's um, too hard to prosthetically build up all of the teeth with crowns and things like that. Um, I've had about a year and a half worth of braces um, and prep for the surgery. I've got braces behind on the top and braces on the bottom. Um, but I have been going to orthodontics since I was about eight with lots of teeth problems. So they're going to cut some teeth out, wisdom teeth um, that are very, very close to the nerves. So fingers crossed, it is a very complex surgery compared to most double jaw surgeries. I have watched some of them on YouTube, which I probably shouldn't have done because that has creeped me out. But um, I know that I'm in good hands. I've been an amazing surgeon. I'm just worried about my needles, especially that one. Um, they have put on today, I've gone to the orthodontist, you can't really see orthodontist, but they've put on these clear little brackets at the top that they're going to help with putting the bands on to wire my jaw shut in um, surgery or at the end of it. And they've got these down here. As far as I know, they cut with like a thin blade up here and then all the way down the bottom. And there's a break here, here, and at the top and here, here. And then they correct it and then they put the screws in to put into place. There are lots of risks like nerve damage here and a bad split if they just doesn't go in the right place and things like that. But fingers crossed it will all go to plan. Um, and then it will be two nights ICU and four nights hospital, but I'll show everything in this vlog. Um, my bag is packed. I'm ready to go for 6 a.m. tomorrow. And first thing is to get some blood taken to know my blood type in case I lose too much blood in surgery. I'm excited to stay in the hospital because I really like hospitals, but I'm a bit nervous for the needles. Um, but yeah, hopefully it all goes well and hopefully my tongue shrinks back because of the gaps my tongue like has spread out in between the back teeth. So it's very wide. That's probably too much, but my tongue goes really wide. So hopefully it's okay and it shrinks back. Um, and then hopefully sometime soon they can take the expander out of my mouth, which is drilled into my um, jaw because that is very annoying. So yeah, I'll keep you updated about the surgery. Hand charge a hospital outfit. Sorry. Hospital outfit. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so we are walking into the lobby. Today is the day we're getting surgery done. Hey, we didn't make the blood. Little blood transfusion. And this looks very comfy. Yeah, so let's pick it up. How are you feeling? Oh, colourful. <laughs> Yuck. Let's not look at those. There you go. How are you feeling? Hmm. Good. Tired. Yeah. Do you want to go back to sleep? No, I don't want to miss you with you. No, I'm not coming anyway. You have a lot of time. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> You're okay. How many needles do I want to put in there? Not many. Not many. 
You're all good. They just need that in case. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> Don't laugh. They took those out and then they took blood from there. Yeah. So I'm just going to slot it in there. It's past the teeth, okay? Hi, I'm off it. It's a trust. Is it scary jumping onto the bed by yourself? Yeah, but I just kept talking to the people. Oh, and it was like this white stuff and she started putting it in to here and I said stop, I don't want to go to sleep. So she waited and we just talked and then she did it. And it felt like I first felt it in my throat, the back of my throat felt like alcohol mm. in it, like a weird taste, dry. Yeah. And then my head was a bit fuzzy, and then that's all I remember. It took like 10 seconds. All right, well, you're going to have your first night in the ICU. Um, and we're going to come and see you in the morning. Mm. This is me trying to drink my water. They just did a... Um, a diabetes blood sugar test on me to make sure my insulin was okay because I hadn't eaten anything. But this is day two and I feel a lot more swollen and sore. I didn't use a morphine at all last night, but I just used it twice this morning. This is a morphine button. You press it and it gives you morphine. It's really sore now my mouth. It's very hard to find my mouth to have litter. The results and stuff, and they come every few hours to drain this blood from here, which are connected to here. And they had two catheters in here, and then here they do the blood pressure. The blood pressure gets scanned every hour, and then that's where the drip is going in from up there. But I have to stay sitting up. I didn't get that much sleep. But the best thing to ask for is a cold wet towel on your head. It's so nice. And a fan. And I just managed to put Vaseline on my mouth to separate it because it was stuck together. My mm. lips, I hope the swelling here eventually goes down because it looks a bit weird. But they said day two and three are the worst. Swelling. Yeah. So, I see for melted, but it tastes so much better melted than normal. Mmm. Delicious. Open for me. Close. You see how your teeth are touching on the left side. So it's it's not all dull. We get our hair done. Hairdressing ladies. <laughs> you want to say hi to Benjamin there? <laughs> Two hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> what? This is like losing a time at the hospital. Do you want to show us how you can walk? It's day two, and this was what my face looks like without the ice packs. There's a bit of bruising there, and a bit of bruising there, and this is helping to reduce the swelling a lot, having the blood drain into here. It doesn't really hurt, um, which is good. My friends came and braided my hair, so it feels a lot fresher, and they're just giving me another ice pack to help reduce the swelling. And the morphine thing is helping, and then they're doing Panadol and Neuroprin as well. I've realised 
two hours and the catheter is now out so I've been able to go to the toilet first time standing up like an hour ago felt so weird like oh my goodness oh like I felt so dizzy uh I said a breath procedure but the toilet's just just like I just have to take all my things with me and walk to the toilet um and then they give me like laxatives because apparently that makes you concentrated, but I don't really want to open up at number two. Um, but yeah, I definitely sorry today than yesterday, but I can talk a lot more today than yesterday. I didn't think I'd be able to talk this much so soon, so that's, that's good. So this is night two. I'm not in the ICU anymore. I'm in the normal ward. This clicking is so annoying. Anyway, it's really hot. I just woke up. I thought I slept through the whole night. And I was like, yay, it's morning time. But it was only 12 p.m. So I only slept an hour and a half. And I'm wide awake. But every time I like, go to do something on my phone, I just like, my eyes start shutting. I'm so tired. I managed to get up and go to the toilet. This is so swollen, like it feels like my cheek's gonna explode since getting the drainage things out a few hours ago. The cold compress is helping a little bit. I got some fresh ice and I put some lip balm on so I'm hoping I can get a little bit more sleep before I have to press again for more morphine. And as soon as I go to sleep, I won't hear that, which will be good. And they brought me up to a um, blood pressure thing because my blood pressure is going low and to keep an eye on it. Yes. I just woke up. It's day three. And my mouth feels so sore since I took the, took the things out. Really sore. Well, not in all the pain. I just mean like the swelling, it feels like it's going to pop. I look like a chipmunk. This is bruising apparently from where the mouth is open. I'm going to have to change my elastics at some point today. I took this one off yesterday. I just can't feel this. It's all numb. And that's all numb. I can feel there. I can feel there. That's all numb. That's all numb. I can feel here and here, but this is all numb too. This is how I may breathe. But they said they're taking the morphine off, and I don't want them to take the morphine away. The morphine is so nice. It, they don't need it when I'm sleeping. And they said they didn't take it off me today because I didn't use it last night. But I don't use it when I'm sleeping. It only stops hurting when I start when I'm awake. So I really hope I don't take it off me because I didn't use it. Mom's coming soon. She's gonna help me have a shower. Oh my god, look how much I can open my mouth now. That's amazing. Um, she said she's gonna help me have a shower because I just feel very gross. I'm like bottom down shower. I'm put on some undies because I haven't worn anything yet, just this girl. But I got up in the night to go to the toilet. I press a button and it's helped me. This is very nice now. I wonder what the weather's like, I can't see. But they wake me up every two hours for, for blood pressure. And I got more tablets just then. I'm drinking my clear broth for breakfast. It looks like this. It's delicious. This is my first attempt at using a spoon to eat. Cauliflower soup. It doesn't look white, but <laughs> we'll try. That's a noise. Nice. Is that my mouth? Yep, that's your mouth. Good job! What is that noise? Music, music. Really? Yeah. 
feels like it's bursting. Do you want to turn the music off? Mmm. Is it yummy? Nope. <laughs> and Hannah's had some boost for a little bit of protein. It's Not so protein, yummy. but... It's called Green Tea Mango Matcha. It's the best... Oops, sorry. It's the best flavour boost in the world. And you've got your bands on. Mmm. Remove the bands. Here's the bands. Still on morphine. I'm not letting them take that away from me. They're going to take the morphine away because... Well, they just will. I don't want them to, though. But I was going to some chill, rainy day mix music. And look at the flowers Mom got me. They're so pretty. With a bar. Oh. They're so pretty. The best thing in the world. No. And we had you had a shower this morning. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just um... <laughs> so I'm drinking some water with the syringe now to try and get the food. I shouldn't have eaten this cauliflower soup, but I try to eat this. I'll show you what it's like cauliflower soup, but it was a bit too chunky. And now I've got a little bit of it stuck in my expander. So I'm using this syringe to try and get it out. I'm really sad because as soon as the IV is finished, then they take the morphine away. And I really like the morphine. <sighs> I don't want the morphine to go away. We're going on a walk to see my friend Benjamin Bear. This is Bear. My favourite bear. Hi Benjamin. Mm. Day three. Yeah. Post still day three. There's lots of day still three. Day three. <laughs> I just took my machine away. I'm saying oh, bye bye dear. morphine. I pressed that thing as many times as I could before they took it away. But we're doing so well. We have been boosted. This is what green tea mango white looks like. It looks a lot better when you don't see what it looks like. When it tastes anything. Mmm. Nothing. Good morning. It's day four. And today on the breakfast menu, we have got... Soy milk, which is the first non-dairy milk they've got me, which is amazing. I'm going to put some wheat bix and see how that goes. And then we have a delicious... <gasps> Yum! It's a blow poop. No, just kidding. It looks like Shrek poop, but it's not. It's actually a zucchini fritter. A mashed zucchini fritter. Um, I think... My lips going a little bit weird here, but it looks like the swelling has gone down a little bit. I don't know, I still have to tip them up. I did sleep better last night than before. I woke up every few hours. It was definitely the sorest night. Night three was the sorest night because of no morphine. But they keep me in Europe and paddle. That's the update. I forgot they also gave me Indone, which is like a 12 hour one or a longer lasting painting. I'm trying to get my lips moisturized with lip thing and nasal spray for my nose, but it's sore here. Anyway, I'm going to try and eat some of the food so I can take this tablet because I feel sick if I take too many tablets without eating. And I'm gonna watch some more Ginny and Georgia to distract myself from the pain. So, good idea to bring a laptop. So, I just got the menu and I'm gonna select some foods. Woohoo, look at this room service. Lemon squash, broth. Hmm, what else? Purple lipstick. Mmm. <laughs> I look so hot right now. Like I feel like I've had Botox. Like a little chipmunk. Mm. Hannah is a chipmunk today. 
It's so sore. It's, I have more more pain, but on my button bones. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. day four is the worst. In a bit of pain. So much pain. That All here. Was it a bit of a bad night's sleep? Yeah, but I, I did fall asleep and then they wake up and then fall asleep and then they wake up. But now, oh my god, it's so sore. And they've given you the endone. I don't like endone. I like we see oxycodone. I'm going to ask for the green bun. Let's go find the green bun. I think they're going to give that back to you. We can go ask. Yeah, let's go ask. We're going to go for a walk. Yeah. Morning. It's day five post surgery. Today is Sunday and I got the surgery on Wednesday. So if you count Wednesday, then today is day five. But if you don't count Wednesday, it's day, day four. We're just going to move some new ice. It's very clicky my jaw but I'm trying to eat a bit so I don't feel the nauseous from painkillers. I love soy milk I'm having some more soy milk and I'm trying to eat some a little bit of porridge and then not bring more ice which will help. My lips looking a little bit more symmetrical which is great and then I'll take this off when I have a shower because I think the stitches have healed from the drain. I slept the best last night. I still wake up every few hours which is a lot of pain. But it's great being in the hospital because they can give you more painkillers. Um, and my nose is feeling very blocked. It's like a lot of blood sucking it. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going home tomorrow morning. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four nights. Keep you updated. I can't really smile, which is as much as I can smile. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I can pull it off. Of course you can. <laughs> I'm stuck. Can I pull it off? No. It's stuck. <laughs> it's been here a big cup. That was inside my vein. Yeah. <laughs> Don't touch it. It's, it's the gross. end of the world, isn't that it? That is so big. No, it's not. Oh my god, that's thicker than a needle. Oh, I'm just so brave. It's plastic. That's so thick. Oh my god, that was inside me. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I wanted it out. And you wanted to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just joking. You know me better. <laughs> What's on the menu today? They gave me ravioli. And it looks like ravioli. But it's not. It's just puree. How cute is that? So it makes me think that I'm eating food and carrot, but mashed and peas and some lemonade. And I got a nice icy pole. And Ron got me some nice water. Thank you, Mon. <laughs> you left me inside there. <laughs> With all the food that I can't eat. So this, this is the food bit, but it takes the patients up and down to surgery. And Hannah walked in when the doors were open. I said, Hannah, quickly get out, otherwise you're gonna be stuck in there. And then the doors closed with her in there. <laughs> Today is day six. It is a Monday morning. The surgery was a Wednesday morning, and I am going home today. We're packing up. I said shower. My skin looks funny there, but it's still breathing. But it's totally dry. And I'm just about to leave. And I'm helping pack up yeah, so all the stuff. flowers and the things. We got some nice chocolates for the nurses because that's all amazing. And it's really hot today. Um, but yes, it's home time. We're doing the first food shop on the way from the hospital. It looks like I escaped. <laughs> well, I actually didn't escape. We just went. Got to her drugs? Some drugs. There's so much here from pharmacy. And it's, you know, you know, it's good. No, no, you break. And everyone seems to got really good teeth out. I'm like, haha, no, no. I didn't get They broke my doors, but that's okay. We need some coconut yogurt and we're going to get some ice box. I don't know which flavors we're going to get. It's a surprise. And then we're going to go home, put her on endone because she's in a little bit of pain. Mmm. Coconut yogurt. Now we're in a baby aisle and one's trying to give me some vegetable lasagna. Yeah, look. It definitely oh. looks like vegetable lasagna. Yummy. <laughs> we're now buying baby spoons. <gasps> I love them colour. 
This is our first food shop. We've got lots of ice blocks, yummy, yummy, and some baby food. And then some vegetable broth, which we're going to try, which looks good. And some baby spoons. These are good yogurt. Yeah, some baby spoons. And lots some, of drugs. Some drinks and drugs. Woohoo. We're home. And what I think? A week later. A week well, later and we're home. Oh yeah, a week. And we're watching, what are we watching? The Flat Shirt, it's a new TV series. It's in a Flat Shirt. Yeah, Baby spoon hack. Okay, week post-op. One week ago today, I just came out of surgery at this time, exactly. And how are you feeling? So much better. I can smile a little bit now. <laughs> and we're gonna have a swim. Been a little bit of an emotional roller coaster, yeah, but that's just... so normal. The last two days. Yeah. But it's going down a little bit. It's yeah. Great. Yay! So it's night eight, and this is the reality. It's 2 30 in the morning, and I woke up in really bad pain. So I've got some endone, and Mum's helping me put the ice. Just how you put the ice in? Oh, but there's a pin. A little bit. Um, right. <laughs> I'm gonna eat some ice as well because it'll be really sore. So hopefully the endone will kick in soon. And the endone makes everything so numb here. Um, and then hopefully the pain will go down a bit. Ben and Jerry's. And watch mm. how she turns the spoon. It's a new technique. <laughs> called the tongue technique. Tongue technique. I just thought about this recovery process is not being able to laugh. I had to go get an ice pack because I laughed and it I put it here. <clears> put <throat> it all behind my nose. It's so sore. It feels like all up here. It's so this sore. Is what, this is what you do when you're trying to laugh. You go. And then make you not laugh. Got my mango smoothie, which is delicious. Protein, almond milk, frozen mango, and some honey. That's the secret ingredient. And the honey makes it easy, delicious and sweet. And the straw's a bit sore on my mouth this morning, so I'm trying this range and it's like basically a straw that is no work to your mouth and you put in and just push it and it gets into your mouth. This is actually really good. I don't know why I haven't been using this more. It's very nice. No work, no sucking. It's great. And I'm watching White Lotus. Great series. I definitely recommend I finish season two now I'm season one and then I'm gonna do some little errands in the house. I'm like going through my wardrobe, I need to sell my old uni textbooks, I'm trying to go through photos on my phone to delete. All the things that you usually have no time to do, I now have time to do. It's fantastic having some extra time at home. And we can do it all without talking. So today is two weeks post surgery. Um, the swelling has gone down a lot and the bruising has gone down a lot. I've been keeping ice on it to help with the swelling and it also feels so soothing. I'm really enjoying having some extra time at home to recover. Currently, I'm um, by the pool doing some reading to try and get outside because staying inside all the time is too good. It like, not good for you mentally. So, out by the pool relaxing listening to some music and I've got a nice banana protein smoothie and it's crazy like the lead up to the surgery is just so big with like a year and a half work of braces and um the nerves and everything before surgery you're wondering if it's like the right decision but I think it was definitely the right decision it's a little bit hard to talk because I can't really open my mouth especially since I've changed the bands on the one side so it's a lot tighter um but the pain is a lot less than it, oh, it was even a few days ago that yeah i'm feeling a lot better I slept through the night for the first night usually i wake up two or three times i did take endone before bed because the pain seems to ramp up for me in the evening especially when i have to change my bands and open my mouth i loosened up my lip this um last yesterday in the evening and i could like see the stitches so weird how there are stitches like all here um, the swelling has gone down. This is all still numb here. And this I can feel and this is numb. I think the lower bottom lip and the chin will take the longest to for the feeling to come back. Um, I can feel this. 
but yeah this area is all still numb that's my two week recap done and that will wrap up my double jaw surgery vlog i'm so lucky to have had such a great experience with amazing surgeons and amazing anesthetists and family and friends who have supported me along the way for my recovery process and I am hoping that the recovery from here on out will be smooth and I'm hoping to go back to teaching in March because I'm a primary school teacher so that will be six weeks post surgery. But yeah I hope you liked this video and it gave you a little bit of an insight into the double jaw surgery process. I know that for me when I was um, getting my surgery I looked at different videos and none of them gave a real accurate representation of what the surgery was going to be like so I thought making this video would help other people that um, were going into double jaw surgery to sort of see what it was like in, along the way in the hospital and everything like that and also it'll be interesting for me to go back and sort of see what it was like. So yeah, if you've watched this, thank you for watching and I hope it has been you.